AMR, or antimicrobial resistance, is a serious issue for vets, with 9 in 10 vets in the UK describing themselves as concerned about AMR. Our special correspondent Nick Wallace went to find out what's being done to ensure antibiotics are being used responsibly in production and companion animals, and why it's important vets and the medical profession work together to defeat resistant superbugs. Antimicrobial resistance is a threat to animal and human health. We now need the same international cooperation on dealing with the Zika virus, on the challenge of antimicrobial resistance. There are certainly infections that we come across that are resistant to all of the antibiotics that we have. We also need seven billion human beings around the world to stop treating these things like sweets. Vets, whether they're working with pets, livestock or other species, are alive to the threat of AMR. In BVA's regular member surveys, antimicrobial resistance was described as one of the most pressing issues affecting the profession, and every vet has a crucial role to play. Vets, they're absolutely at the front line of treating animals properly, but also getting the message across about the need to reduce antibiotics and to set the example by prescribing and using them in a responsible way. Irresponsible use of antibiotics can speed up the natural process of resistance. So we've got two examples of the most important multidrug resistant bacteria. In these plates, the bacteria are resisting the most common antibiotics vets have in their armories. And if you gave that antibiotic as tablets to your dog, it would not work. Vets have a responsibility to get it right and make sure their clients are aware of the long-term danger of getting it wrong. The key factors, I think, are early recognition of multidrug resistance, and this is something that is, is the veterinary responsibility. We need to make sure that owners understand that testing is required rather than just picking an antibiotic off the shelf. An, an antibiotic picked off the shelf may have worked 20 years ago, but with more multidrug resistant bacteria nowadays around, we have to identify them before we give out treatment. Research on antimicrobial usage and resistance is being utilised to inform prescribing behaviour. Both SAVSNET, developed at the University of Liverpool, and Vet Compass here at the Royal Veterinary College are delivering useful data. RVC researchers are using Vet Compass data to study the use of antimicrobials in dogs and cats. We were able to see that there was a high usage of those in companion animals. And it's very important that we know how these antimicrobials are used in dogs and cats so that we can try and see if they're being used responsibly by veterinarians that we can try and train these veterinarians, the undergraduates and those that already completed the courses, that they can use other options to antimicrobials. The British Veterinary Association and other organisations produce guidelines for vets on how to prescribe responsibly. Antimicrobials are certainly not sweets, they're prescription only medicines and they're only used under the prescription and direction of a qualified veterinary surgeon. So it's really important that we're using the correct antibiotic at the correct dose, which is appropriate for the bacteria that we're trying to treat. And vets have a very important job there in helping farmers understand the need to complete a course of treatment. Given the spread of antimicrobial resistance, shouldn't antibiotics just be blanket banned in the farming industry? No, not at all. If we were to stop using antibiotics in the agricultural sector, we would find there was a huge amount of animal suffering. It's always more effective to run the farm properly and have very high standards of husbandry. That can be hard to aspire to, but there's a real duty on us all to make sure that we're working towards that.